Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's theory video, we take a look at Granny in our search to explain the mysterious backstory to this creepy house and the murderous old lady that inhabits it. In order to do this, we need to take a look at another character who appears under very specific circumstances within the game, Slendrina. By connecting the dots between these two characters, as well as using clues found around the house itself, I believe we can finally understand the sinister events that went down within this house, the reason Granny wishes to kill us, and why the heck this ghostly figure shows up at all. So let's get started. In case you don't know, Granny is a stealth horror game available for mobile devices including phones and tablets on the Google App Store. Now I'll leave a link below in case you haven't had the chance to play it for yourselves yet. In Granny, the player finds himself trapped in a creepy old house, full of traps to avoid, puzzles to solve and items to collect, all while avoiding Granny who stalks them with a baseball bat. They have five days to get out of this house before they perish, but there is no real explanation as to why any of this happens. The game page itself gives no clues. In fact, the closest we get to any kind of backstory in written form can be found with a note from another one of Granny's victims, located in the tool shed. In this note, an unknown person talks about being kidnapped after their car broke down likely the same car we find stashed underneath the house itself. So this may allude to how Granny gets her victims back to the old house, but it doesn't really flesh out her character in any way, other than to say she's super crazy. However, if we turn our attention to the appearance of Slendrina, I think we may get some answers. To do this, we need to understand the character of Slendrina. So, let's begin with that. It is important to keep in mind that Slendrina is also a creation of the same developer, D.V. Loper, so her inclusion here could be an easter egg rather than canon to the story, but I personally feel there is more of a connection here. Once again, very little information about Slendrina is out there, but when looking at some games made by the same creator, we can see there are some similarities in both the torturous environments and the character models themselves. While Slendrina is obviously in part influenced by urban legend Slenderman, I believe her main influence must surely come from Japanese folklore. Let me explain. In Japan, there is the infamous tale of the Yorai. This is the tormented or lost soul of a woman who became a vengeful spirit on Earth after going through a trauma such as a murder at the end of their life. Through their desire for revenge, their sorrow, or simply their pure hatred, the Yorai now live on in spirit form. The Yorai has long black hair and dresses in white clothing, floating above the ground. Feel familiar yet? The Yorai will remain on Earth until it has been laid to rest, either by the performance of a ritual or by resolving an emotional conflict. However, if the ritual is left incomplete or the conflict is unresolved, the ghost will continue to haunt. Keep this information in mind for later in the theory. Now this is interesting as it would mean if Slendrina is a Yorai, then it explains her reappearance after the teddy bear is placed within the crib. How? Well, we have to connect the dots here a bit, but it would suggest that this woman had a child who died or was killed while still an infant. By placing the teddy bear in the crib, the Yorai, in this case Slendrina, is summoned. But as her conflict is unresolved, she remains in the house rather than peacefully transitioning to the afterlife. But what conflict, you may ask? And how does all this Japanese folklore relate to the story of Granny? Well, now the foundation has been laid, here comes the theory for today's video. The game is called Granny, but nowhere are we given any indication that this woman is anyone's grandmother. Certainly she doesn't seem to be a relative of the character we are playing, but she must be a granny to someone. So then, logically we can conclude that Slendrina is the daughter of Granny, right? 
Well, not quite, because there is one more thing I haven't yet touched on, and that is Slendrina's mother, who shows up in the hidden chamber behind the bookshelf in the bedroom. We know this is Slendrina's mother, as she has appeared in other Slendrina games under this name. This means Slendrina is the granddaughter to the granny, and the woman chained up here is in fact granny's daughter herself. But why is she chained up like this? And what is the importance of the crib? And how does this reveal anything about the game's deeper meaning? Well, let's put the puzzle pieces together and form some answers. First, the crib itself. What are cribs best known for? Holding babies, right? But Slendrina looks like a young woman rather than a young child, so she's likely not the spirit of the baby who belongs in this crib. Instead, I would suggest she is the mother of a deceased child. There is actually a game from the same developer known as Child of Slendrina, and this features the spirit of a baby who attacks the player on sight, and also appears in a crib very similar to this one. And with this information in mind, I believe we are dealing with an origin story here. Granny may have been left to look after the granddaughter's child while she was out with her mother for the day. Something happened that day that caused Granny to snap. Perhaps the child drove her insane with its incessant crying. Whatever the reason, something caused Granny to do something truly terrible that day. Mother and daughter return and discover Granny has killed the child. The mother threatens to call the police. So Granny chains her up in one of the spare rooms and hides the evidence by pushing a bookcase over the door, leaving her to starve. The daughter then takes her own life out of grief or is perhaps herself killed by Granny. The bathtub seems stained. Could this be where the murder took place? This theory also explains why we find pieces of a torn up portrait of Granny throughout the house. The picture was probably ripped to pieces by the daughter after her Granny committed such horrific acts upon their family. So both the mother, daughter and baby are now dead, but their spirits remain in the form of Yuri as they have unfinished conflict on Earth. Harboring hatred and vengeful thoughts towards Granny for her inhuman actions. These spirits now remain as Slendrina and Slendrina's mother. This game has been their origin story this entire time. The player sets their spirits free again by uncovering this tragedy. They reappear, but still without resolution, and now terrorise others as evil spirits in games such as Slendrina the School and Slendrina the Cellar. Their first victim will likely be Granny herself, as shown in the final shot of the game. And by placing the teddy bear in the crib, we also raise the spirit of Slendrina's child, who later appears in the game Child of Slendrina. Granny is where it all began, the prequel to all those other games, and we literally play as the character responsible for unleashing them upon the world. Pretty crazy, right? But what are your thoughts on this theory? Could Granny really be the origin story of Slendrina? Is this one big story connected, or simply an easter egg for fans of the developers' previous games? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And that's it for today's video, please remember to give it a like if you did enjoy watching, and maybe drop a comment too, as well as subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications so you never miss an upload. This channel specialises in variety horror content, including creepypasta readings, horror gaming facts and theories, and general interest pop culture horror videos. So if you're interested in all things spooky, you'll find something to enjoy here at Super Horror Bro. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.